Ah, oh, no gimmicks. It's Dungeon Bands! Ah, uh, man, that is maybe not a good way to start a video. Alright, it's Dungeon Mans, but this is going to be a guide a be uh, for beginners, beginner mans, to uh, help you out, you know, when you get in there and uh, and you die, because that's, that's what you do. Also, Dungeon Mans is an incredible name and an incredible way to name something because I like calling things mans after them now, and it's all the fault of the guy who created Dungeon Mans, like beginner mans or help mans. Who's gonna help you? See, he's help man's. He's gonna help you. And winning man's. The one that's totally gonna win. I'm gonna win with this character, but whatever. Here's help man's. He's here to help. He's in a dungeon. Alright. So I'm gonna move around a little bit. I wanna find some items. And I wanna talk to you about. Oh my god! So here's the bad situation. So, first things first. Don't worry about dying. You're gonna die. I might die right here. I hope not, but I might. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die right here. Actually, wait. Skills. Uh oh, can't get that skill. I know what skill I can get though. This is gonna keep me alive. Get out of here. Get out. No. So get out. All right. So should be okay. Let me get some stuff. And we'll get out of here. This guy. Alright. Alright. So, don't worry about dying. You're gonna die. Just like other games like FTL or anything Spelunky, you know. Those are all great games where you're going to die. You're gonna die, and then you're gonna get back in there, you're gonna figure it out, and you're gonna win. So, don't worry about death. It happens. It's gonna happen. Next tip, use a ranged weapon. You saw there that I'm dual wielding. If you could somehow, where's, there we go. I'm dual wielding, right? But I still have a bow equipped. If I wasn't using a ranged weapon there, I would have got surrounded or kited to death. I would have been really upset because enemies will kite you to death if you do not shoot at them. And you will get furious and you will pick up your computer and you will break it over your own face like a badass, but at the same time wasting thousands of dollars, you know, you don't want to do that. So you want to use a ranged weapon regardless of if you're two-handing, you can, uh, let's see, right, you can dual wield, right, I'm, I'm dual wielding now, I'm still using, still using a bow, so you want to use ranged. Ranged is tied to the F key, so you just, bam, touch F, pop, 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 shoot things up. Uh, another thing, don't forget to rest. You see, I don't have full health, full HP. No big deal. We hit R. Press R. Boom. Rest. Look at that. Bam. And you'll stop resting. You saw I, I got scurred. You'll stop resting when uh when an enemy comes near you. No big deal. You see? Shoot the bow. Whatever. Get him out of here. So don't worry too much about resting. Rest all the time. Rest as much as you have to. It's part of the game. You're supposed to be resting. How do I get out of here? This way. I'm gonna get back to town. All right. Back in town. Now, this guy, headmaster. He's important, right? So we got all this, all this stuff. We got a scroll of Aseptum de Jugazi. And the, me the scroll of Mekti Hylatinx, right? Shamrinzunzin? The Shamrinzin? Shamrinzin. Alright, this guy IDs your gear. Including, right? It's not just this stuff with the question marks on it. He also IDs all those potions, all those scrolls that make no sense. Bam, they'll ID them for you. Right? So now you have stuff. And you have good stuff. You got. All this. Bees please, bolster armor, curse gear, which you don't want to do. You know, you can identify. So you want to use the headmaster. He's important. He's important. He will ID your stuff. Uh, another thing. Glowing enemies. I didn't see any, but glowing enemies are champs. 
and champions scale to you, so they are always a threat. So you want to be extra careful when you go up against a uh, champion because they also will do things that normal the, their normal version of the mobs won't do. Some of them will do crazy stuff, so you got to worry about them. They might have a lot of health. They might do skills you've never seen. Stuff gets real. Just be careful because champions are ending a lot of people's runs now because they got scaled. So yeah, you want to be you want to worry about them a little bit. Alright, another thing. Uh, mix and match all your stuff, right? I'm dual, I'm a dual wielder. Right? Okay. That doesn't mean I can't use a bow. It doesn't mean I can't use magic, right? Uh, do I have any points? I think I have points, actually. Doesn't mean I can't use... I don't have any points! I thought I had points. Whatever. Doesn't mean I can't use magic. Doesn't mean you can't... get ranger moves. You could get ranger moves, use heavy armor... Uh, and use two-handers, right? Mix and match your skills to what you think would be fun, or will help you win, or you think looks fucking cool, or you want to try out and just experiment with. It doesn't matter. It's not that serious. The more you try out, the more you learn, and that's how you get better. You can't... I know I'm, I'm trying to give you helpful tips and stuff, but you can't... You don't want to in a game that has is procedurally generated you know it's a little it's random you don't ever want to just go okay this is a guide or a build I'll just do this because you'll you can't guarantee the same types of situations in another game that's linear a guide is real helpful because that guard will always be in the same spot looking the same way doing the same thing you'll always have the chance to get the same items and be the same level you know, you'll always be on the same stage, but in a game that's random like this, you just gotta learn. You gotta be smarter and understand more of the game, and that's how you get better. So, yeah, try and learn, you know, mix and match, experiment, have fun with it. Um, another helpful tip, though, is have an escape, right? You want to have a move, that, like this move has the knockback. I would have died if I didn't start knocking those enemies away from me. So this this is a good this is a good move, not bad. Um, you know, this is like a decoy that will taunt, and you can like move away. Ranger Man's gets a really good move at the beginning, where they can jump three tiles, and they'll attack while they do it. But at the very least, you want to jump three tiles away. And um, I think it's another good move to start with. What the hell am I looking for? Uh, this, but you got to be level three. This is a dash, you know. Stuff like that. Uh, there's some scrolls that'll teleport you and stuff like that. You, you know, you wanna you wanna have an escape. You always wanna have an escape move because I played a lot without having an escape move, and uh, you get into like tight corners and surrounded, and you're just like, why won't you die? And you, and then you die, you die. So another good thing. Yeah, you wanna know. That's helpful. Don't die with a bag full of this stuff, right? Because if you're dying with a bag full of this stuff, there may have been a situation that you could have gotten out of. You may have died because it's your fault. Like, maybe you died because some sort of monster kept just, you know, rushing you down. You could have pinned him in place with this scroll, right? You could have ignored projectiles, you know, with this. Protection against lesser enemy slings and arrows. This, These are all very helpful. Um, you know, uh, bolster your armor bees please you know maybe you could have thrown bees in somebody's face like you're in fucking Bioshock or something right could have messed somebody up and maybe you got poisoned and you didn't even know like oh I have this fucking antidote in here so you don't want to die with a bag full of stuff if you got stuff use it just use the stuff you'll get more stuff you can buy stuff in the stores you'll find potions and and scrolls everywhere and then you can go and ID them and everything so you want to use stuff Use the, use the things. You do the things, guys, okay? Alright, so. That's, uh. This, this is Help Man's. Helping new beginner man's out, and I'm gonna go over everything real quick. Because I wrote it down. God damn text messages in your face. Alright, so I wrote it down. Here we go. Don't worry about dying. You're gonna die. It happens. 
It's gonna happen. You're gonna go into the first place, it's gonna happen. You might play the game for hours and go into the first area and die to like normal mobs. I've done it, you just, you just, it's no big deal, right? Headmaster, this guy's important, right? He does all the stuff. You wanna, you wanna give him the stuff to ID it, right? Besides, he'll tell you the other things you can do with these people over here, but he never, I don't know if he ever tells you like, hey, I can ID your stuff. So you wanna talk to him about that, right? Use a ranged weapon, a bow, you can use a staff, is ranged, spells, whatever whatever you need to do, but always have a ranged option at all times. Um, you cannot use a bow with a shield, but um, as you'll see, right, um, the developer doesn't even recommend you use heavy shields, so I don't know about light shields right now. Uh, so, let's, yeah, you can't use ranged if you have a shield, so if you have a shield, you want to use spells maybe I guess I don't know uh, glowing enemies are champions champions are always dangerous and you want to be careful around them they will do stuff to you and you will be upset and then you will die and then you will rage right rest hit the R button press R get all your stuff back get your health get your stamina get your mana back Rest as often as you want. You can rest out in the open world. You can rest in the dungeon. You can rest in the academy for some reason. Uh, just rest. Mix and match all your skills. You know, you don't necessarily need Foom Plosion. I mean, you might want Foom Plosion because it's pretty sick looking. But, you know, if you want Lava Lance, Two Hands, Heavy Armor, you know, you want to you wanna get some Necro Buddies, whatever you want to do. Mix and match your moves. You don't have to stick to one thing. You can. That's fine. It's just some people just stay in one thing. They don't think they're like, oh, I picked wizard mans, so I guess I'll just get wizard man things. You know, you can pick whatever you want. You're not, you're not uh, stuck to one class or anything like that. Have an escape. It's the next thing. Have an escape. Um, use your scrolls to get out of there. Use your skills that move you, move the enemies, run, whatever you need to do. But don't always think like. Don't always think like a hammer, right? To a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Don't always think like that. Some situations, it's better to let the enemies come to you. Maybe you don't want to go get them. Maybe you want to back off and pull them to a choke point. Maybe you want to use a skill and run and heal up or rest up. Or maybe you want to, you know, like go up another floor and rest on a floor that you cleared out, you know? Don't always just be like, I need to run at the enemy and get him right now. He needs to die. Have a plan, have an escape, and uh, take your time. Take your time, have some patience, you'll do a little better. And then the last one, don't die with all the stuff. If you have stuff, use it. You get poisoned, use your antidotes. You know, you're running out of stamina, or maybe, you know, you're just spamming moves, and you're like, damn, I'm out of stamina, I didn't even know. Use use your potions. Use your damn, uh... Ooh, this is the location of all the treasure. Use your damn scrolls. Use these items, and you can always uh, what's it called? You can, you can pull them to the hot bar. Oh, that was a good example. You can pull them to the hot bar if you want to have, you know, if you have like a lot of potions or whatever, pull them to the hot bar and use them. You can uh, shift, put them to the hot bar real quick. You're highlighting them, shift in the number, and they'll go to the hot bar. But yeah, use these things because they will save your life. So don't, you don't want to die with a bag full of them because it, then it may be your fault and not the game's fault. It's your fault at that point. All right, so this was no gimmick gaming. This is a beginner guide. This isn't going to be a beat the system. This is just going to be a beginner guide uh, to help you beginner mans out. Hopefully, uh, there's a lot of people into this game right now because I don't know. This game has me I'm really into this game. So yeah, and um, if you want, you can click, you can click my uh, my little icon button help me out and sub and then uh you know you'll know when more uh more dungeon man's content comes up because there's gonna be plenty more i got some more stuff so yeah hopefully this helps uh i love you guys and i will see you next time peace out <laughs>